Welcome back everyone. You may have just updated your iPhone to iOS 15 and you may be wanting to get some storage back. Well, there's a lot of easy ways to go ahead and gain some storage back. Obviously the first thing as always, delete all the apps that you're not using. As you can see, whenever you have an app and even some widgets, the widgets aren't going to save storage, but you may have an app that you may not use in a while and you can always delete them by holding them down. So let's just take, you know, Firefox for example. You wanna hold it down, you wanna go and click a remove app. Now you wanna click delete app because if you add your remove from home screen, it's still gonna be on your phone. So click delete app, click delete, and the Firefox or whatever app will go ahead and be deleted. And you can do this for any sort of app that you have. That's probably the best thing to do and the best way to just save the most amount of storage. Now another thing I would recommend you to actually do is hop inside of your settings. When you get there, you wanna scroll down into general, then you wanna click down over to iPhone storage, which is right here. And what I would recommend you to do is actually going through here and deleting any of the apps that you don't use that are massive, but also seeing if there's any other, you know, system storage being used, things like, you know, a system update. So let's say you have, you know, iOS 15 on your phone, but let's say iOS 15 beta 2 already downloaded or the next beta, well, it may already download here but maybe you don't want to install it so you can always click on that update and click delete update or delete file and that's essentially going to be deleted from your device this is another really easy thing you could do that i've done time and time again to actually essentially fix this specific issue it's not a guarantee but this is something i've done all the time it's, it's, a time, it's things that i do to kind of fix that specific issue and i do it i'm sure and i would recommend you guys to do it too now, if you scroll up and if you look at your iPhone storage option right here, you can see that a lot of the storage is taken up by apps, but you can see some things may be taken up by, you know, iCloud Drive or system or whatever it is. If you look at this on the dark gray one, you can see system is taking up a lot of my storage. Now, if I scroll all the way down, you can see that I can see system and other. Now, with system storage, these type of files tend to be like cache files, things saved in the background for other apps, and it's a very annoying thing. I hate this a lot, but there's really nothing you can do to this besides deleting and factory resetting your phone. That's really the only thing you can do. Now, it's something I would not recommend everyone to do every single day, but if this ends up being like 20 or 30 gigabytes, your best bet is to probably going ahead and deleting whatever is in here and resetting your phone, manually bringing that data in or store from a back up that's probably the best thing you can do to alleviate most of this specific system storage and those are really the main things i mean there's other things like putting your photos into some sort of you know cloud storage putting your apps like you know for example even right here ios 14.7 developer beta i don't really need this on my phone so i can click here click delete update delete update and that'll save me 1.6 gigabytes or 1.57 gigabytes that's a lot of storage right there but you can also go ahead and temporarily store your data into the cloud. You can see I have the option for offloading the app. So you can go ahead and offload app and save a little bit more storage that way as well. So that's essentially it. Some ways you can go ahead and save some storage on iOS 15, 14, 13. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.